The training this week has had a great impact on my work in a number of ways. I'd say first off, you know, with the Center for Artistic Activism and the Unstoppable Voters Fellowship, uh, the training kind of like lays out these things that I've never given terminology to or an approach to. And so it's great for me to see like, oh, here's something that I've done, but here's another way that I haven't thought of it. One of the more surprising realizations I had this week is just, that I can't do it all on my own. <laughs> so many of us work at small organizations where we don't get the opportunity to collaborate and brainstorm with each other. Also, since the pandemic, so many of us are remote, so we're often sitting at a computer by ourselves. Uh, this week, I learned that there are some really incredible people who I never knew uh, before coming here doing really amazing things. I think that the training this week has really just like inspired me to reimagine how we do almost everything. I think what most impacted me about this work is the heavy relearning I had to do of the term artistic activism. It's really not about art. And so as I uh, began the process and began to start to learn about what it was, it's really about building relationships and allow other individuals to help you to get to where you need in regards to building projects, sustaining relationships, and just being able to work uh, as a cohesive community. One thing that I learned from this retreat that I'm definitely gonna bring back to my organization and, and the movement in Texas is actively trying to think of impossible ideas, um, not because we're gonna you know, do all these impossible things, but because it can actually spark ideas that we can do. I never heard, no, that won't work. I think that was so surprising and motivating. Um, instead, there was a whole team telling me, okay, yes, and then what? <laughs>